In recent years, the Serbian arms industry has managed to develop and produce a number of 8x8 wheeled armored fighting vehicles, including perhaps most notably the Lazar series of AFVs. In October 2021, at the Partner Military Exhibition in Belgrade, the latest Serbian design was revealed, the Lazanski Infantry Fighting Vehicle. Although some media reports suggest the Lazanski was a further development of the Lazar 3, the vehicle is in fact a new design, featuring improved armor protection and superior offensive armament in the form of Russian Kinjal or Dagger Remote Controlled Combat Module. Welcome to another Tank Encyclopedia voiced article. I'm your host Galahad and today I'll be covering the Lazanski Infantry Fighting Vehicle, Serbia's newest IFV design. If you like what we do and want to see more of it, don't forget to like the video and, if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Since the vehicle is still relatively new, much of its development history is still unknown or uncertain. According to information released during the exhibition, development of the Lazanski was done by the Yugo Import SDPR company. As the name suggests, the company was originally established in 1949 to provide the Yugoslav People's Army with necessary equipment obtained from abroad. In 1953, it also took on the duty of exporting domestic military equipment and in recent years has been responsible for the design and manufacturing of many modern armored vehicles, including the Lazar series. While the overall design of the vehicle was handled by Serbian engineers, some elements, most notably the remote-controlled turret, were imported from Russia. It is unknown why such a decision was made, although the countries have collaborated in the past previously. Most recently, a batch of Lazar Freeze sold to Turkmenistan were equipped with Russian BPPU turrets. Such collaborations have previously been mutually beneficial to both countries. Serbia gains access to new high-tech weapon systems without needing to invest in costly research and development, while Russia is able to enter new emerging markets with the vehicle, bypassing sanctions that would have otherwise prevented such sales. At present it is unknown if the cooperation will be affected by Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and the surrounding sanctions and political fallout, or if such impacts will affect the Lazanski. The basic hull of the vehicle is 8 meters long, 3.2 meters wide and 2.6 meters tall. With the remote controlled turret added, the height increases to 3.6 meters. Weight varies between 26 and 36 tons, depending on which modules and armored packages are installed on the vehicle. A 711 HP Caterpillar C13 engine and Allison 4000 SP 6-speed automatic gearbox make up the automotive components of the vehicle, although overall driving performance figures have not been revealed. Internally, the vehicle is relatively similar to most contemporary armored or infantry fighting vehicles. The driver sits in the front on the left with the engine to his right. Behind him sits the gunner and commander of the vehicle, and at the rear are 10 seats for mounted elements. Unlike previous Serbian designs, the Lazanski lacks firing ports and side doors for the infantry within. Instead, a single hydraulic ramp at the rear of the vehicle is their only means of entry and exit. The vehicle crew can also use the ramp, but they also have a pair of hatches on the front of the vehicle. Each hatch has three vision ports for use when buttoned up, and an array of six infrared surveillance cameras mounted around the vehicle provides a full 360 degree view of the surrounding area. According to one source, the Lazanski also features an intercom and navigation system, as well as air conditioning and nuclear, chemical and biological protection. The primary offensive system of the Lazanski is the Russian Kinjal Remote Controlled Combat Module. The main weapon is a 57mm 2A91 autocannon alongside a coaxial PKT-M762 machine gun. 
The auto cannon carries 80 rounds of ammunition in a mixture of high explosive and armor piercing tracer rounds. Although there are plans to develop a programmable high explosive round, as well as a guided round for use against low flying targets, such as UAVs and helicopters. 1000 rounds are also carried for the machine gun. The module also carries several smoke dischargers for defense and can also carry a pair of 9M120 anti-tank guided missiles for use against armored targets. Due to the vehicle's modularity, the Lazanski can also be modified to accept a range of other turrets or weapon stations. For example, plans to mount the Turkish Mizrak 30 unmanned turret are apparently under consideration. Armor protection is, again, quite similar to other conventional AFVs. From the front, the vehicle is resistant to 25mm projectiles from 500 meters or further away, as well as offering protection from 155mm shell splinters. Protection for the sides and rear is enough to protect the vehicle from armor-piercing rounds from 7.62mm guns, but not much more. An applique armor kit is also in development, which should allow the vehicle to withstand 30mm rounds and smaller from 500 meters away. The Lazanski also features a V-shaped bottom, allowing the vehicle to withstand blasts from up to 10 kg of explosives. In summary, the Lazanski is a modern and high-tech design, with the potential to serve as both a domestic and export product. Although it is still early days and many modifications and improvements may be expected. There is even the possibility of seeing a family of vehicles based on the design, including recovery vehicles, self-propelled guns and command and control vehicles, though such developments are yet to be seen. This concludes our look at Serbia's newest infantry fighting vehicle. If you aren't already, consider becoming a subscriber so you don't miss a single video. If you want to contribute more directly, consider donating on Patreon or Paypal. The money comes back to you in the form of bigger and better videos. Until next time, keep us in your sights.